Good afternoon. It's uh, April 3rd, 2024. Kicking out a little bit of hay for these guys. I'm gonna go over here and look at Cutie Pie because she's not coming up with everybody else. I don't know why. Tell you what we'll do. Yeah, look at that, that's pretty ominous. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I'm grab a little bit of hay. Let's see if we got something to kind of clump that's together pretty good. Not really, of course not. But we'll kind of work with what we got here. Pretty good arm load. Wind's kind of getting me, but a lot of these, getting a lot of these uh, rain showers that are just a column of rain. I think she's okay. Sorry, we got you hiding in the camouflage. She's pretty timid. Come here, cutie pie. Did get that fed out. Let's see what she's got to say. Plenty of clover popping up. Nobody looks too bad. She don't look too bad. She's looking good. Looking good. So, but. Got some cold weather moving in for the next couple of days. Seems like that every uh, every first week of April you have the severe weather, then you have the cold snap, the dogwood winter. Usually, how this will work out. And as you can see, the dogwoods here. See, are blooming. What I'm looking at, excuse me, is uh, getting the roof on this guy. So, looks like it's going to be right here. And that'll take a big trailer I mean, don't get me wrong it does it serves its purpose it costs you 50 bucks a year to put a put a tarp on it and it probably keeps things way drier than what the metal roof will do to be honest with you but um, that's not what we're what we're going with and I've got one piece of pan metal that I'm going to put on it and see you know four by eight sheet to start with but yeah get this old trailer kind of patched up because I mean man it's still a pretty good trailer it's a little aggravating because it's a little narrow it's got swing gates instead of slide gates but it works well I remember this trailer being around my entire life uh, apparently it was hauled up here on a rail car where a couple of brothers moved up here in the late 50s, early 60s. So nobody really remembers the condition of the trailer when it was brought up here, just that it was brought up here in the, around 1960. Don't know if it was brand new in 1960. You'd think if they were gonna buy a new trailer in 1960, they would have bought it here in Tennessee instead of buying it in Texas and bringing it up. So I'm assuming that it was at least used a little bit. 
before they moved up here. So, um, and it bounced around from them to another lady that had it and her farm guy used it until he got too old to use it. Um, Cause I remember through the eighties and up into the nineties, this trailer was the farm next door across the road, farm trailer. And uh, it looked about like it does now, except for the tarp, it never had a tarp on it. But pretty cool old trailer. I think it'd be a pretty cool project fix it back up. I've had it since the late 90s. Um, 97, 98, somewhere around in there. Maybe 96. But I think it was 97 or 98 when I got it. And 400 bucks for it. Uh, and done quite a bit of work to it over the years. Well, did this steel in right here pipe in uh redid these latches I actually cut the latch off then cut me a piece of angle iron and extended the latch because the top is sprung out a little bit as you can see the bottom isn't latched you have to kind of watch to make sure that you've got that latch but i need to fix the bottom of the door or the gate i need to put the latch back on Patch up some of the rust holes. Not all of them, just some of them. Redo the floor in it. Redo the brakes. In it. Surprisingly enough, the brakes probably have never been used or weren't used a whole lot because they the inside the hubs like brand new. The drums and everything looks like brand new inside there. So you do a little bit of work to that. But other than that, you know, a lot of this looks bad, but really isn't. coat of paint on it and uh, let it rip like a tater chip. Get some tires on it and all that all that fun stuff. That'll be a project here soon that we do. The next few weeks to get hay out of it obviously. But yeah just pull her down there to the scrap pile and uh, go for it. Welder, sawzall, grinder and just go. Get her cleaned up, brush, brush a coat of paint on her. Turquoise, that's always the color I kind of remember it is. So that turquoise that you can see right here. So I'm gonna kind of see what I can find in a good Rust-Oleum, whatever. Get her patched up, but you know, got a lot of cleaning up to do inside of these runners here. They're full of rust. Anywho, just want to give y'all a little video. Thank you for your time. And I'll catch you here in the next couple of days.